My name is Alex Pitcher. I'm a cardiologist at the John Radcliffe Hospital and I'm the clinical lecturer in cardiovascular medicine at the University of Oxford. And I undertake both clinical work with patients and I also do research and uh, train and teach medical students about cardiovascular conditions. And I'm particularly interested in problems of the heart and blood vessels that can be inherited. In recent years, we've got really interested in uh, a, a condition which we think is very important called Lewis Dietz syndrome. And this is a condition which was really only described 10 years ago and by my colleagues, Dr. Bart Lewis and Dr. Hal Dietz. And they have identified that there are large numbers of these patients, although it's rare, but there are still large numbers of patients overall who have an important problem with blood vessels that we think needs to be identified and treated vigorously. These patients who, if they are not identified and treated vigorously, can have very a poor outlook and some patients can even die of a uh, uh, tearing of blood vessels. That's a process called aortic dissection. Today we've had a really interesting meeting of over 150 patients with uh, Lewis Dietz syndrome and we've been privileged to have talks from Dr. Hal Dietz and Dr. Bart Lewis who've come from Johns Hopkins uh, Medical School and the University of Antwerp respectively to come and talk to uh, clinicians and patients about the nature of Lewis Dietz syndrome, what we need to be looking out for and what we can do to help patients even better in the future. We have a well-established practice in Oxford, a specialised clinic that looks after patients with inherited aortic disease and we also have a research programme that uh, works with that clinic to try to identify new ways of diagnosing and new ways of treating conditions like Lewis Dietz syndrome and related conditions like Marfan syndrome. So this morning we've had a really great series of talks um, and um, I've learned a lot about Lewis Dietz syndrome and I'm sure that our patients have too. And I also know that even some of our great scientists and uh, doctors from uh, abroad have uh, had a chance to meet and interact with more patients and I hope they've learned something too. So it's been a really uh, productive day and um, we're looking forward to having further collaborations with these international colleagues and also with um, our patients in the future. Mm -hmm.